I'm Nikki Fitzgerald and you're watching Adorama TV. You don't have to travel the world to take amazing photographs. Being a good photographer is all about having a good eye and today I'm going to show you how you can take great photographs all from the comfort of your own home. Adorama TV presents iPhonography with Nikki Fitzgerald. The home is a great place to get creative with your photography. It's really easy to overlook the things we see every day around us, but actually if you look a bit closer, pay attention to the light and the details, you'll see there's fantastic opportunities everywhere you look. Also, if you're a bit shy about taking photographs indoors, you're going to feel a lot more comfortable about taking photographs in the comfort of your own home. So you can experiment and see what works and what doesn't. And finally, making a set of images in your own home is a lovely way to tell a personal story about yourself. As always with photography, light is absolutely key and never more so than when photographing indoors. Indoors it can be really, really dark, so we need to find another source of light. We don't want to use our flash because that's just going to ruin all the ambience. So other sources of light, these can be found everywhere. They can be found in ceiling lights, in uh, lamps around your home. See what is working for you birthday cake, lighting up a child's face. Even a child looking at the oven and a cake that's rising looks fantastic with the oven light coming out. Use the fridge door light, use iPads, use iPhones. There's plenty of light around the home, so just make the use of it. So how do you get started in the home? Well, the best thing is just to walk around your house, just relax, find something that interests you, and then start shooting it. Don't just shoot from where you are. Shoot it from above, shoot it from the sides, shoot it from underneath. See what works best, and then just have a look through your shots and just see what is working for you. Now, as well as windows being great for available light, they're also fantastic for natural frames. Now, I've got my camera set up here. I've grabbed a few cushions from around the home. And what I want to do is introduce a subject now into this frame that the window's making. So I've got these things here, which I can just place in the shot. So I'm just going to put these plants, place them carefully in the middle of each frame of the window. So they're nice and symmetrical. And what I'm going to do is, I've seen there's distractions outside, and what I want to do is actually expose the outside and make that totally white so we get this lovely minimalist shot just with the bars of the window. Now, here's how we do it. OK, we open Pro Camera, which I've already done, and then what we need to do is expose on the darker parts of the photograph, and I simply switch my camera over to the curtains where it's much darker, and then just click on the exposure button, and you'll see there with the exposure button on the curtains, how that bleaches that background out. And you can see a lovely white minimalist shot now. All we need to do is focus now on that flower in the middle, position it so it's just right, and then click and take the picture. And now we've got that fantastic look in our photographs, look in our camera roll. You'll see we've got this beautiful minimalist image. And it's really easily created on an iPhone in seconds. Hi, Nikki Fitzgerald here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. Okay, one of the issues in photography can be the light, but the other issue is the colour temperature. Now, all this means is the difference between a cooler photograph, a bluer photograph, or a warmer photograph, which is what we want. Now, I can show you a great little trick, which is using the white balance in Pro Camera. All you need to do is open Pro Camera. Let's take a regular shot and see what that looks like. Just point the camera at the nice kitchen over there, take the shot. It's a bit flat, it's a bit cool. Now, this is how we warm it up. We simply, we've got Pro Camera open, we point this at the uh, cooler light outside and what's gonna happen now is the camera's gonna compensate and make the image warmer. So, we go into our settings, click on the WB, which is white balance, click back on the screen and you'll see AWPB come up there. What you need now is to take the temperature from that by clicking on AWB and you'll see it's locked there. So let's just swing the camera around now, take another look and look at the difference there. That's really golden, that's really lovely. That's a much, much better photograph, uh, much more cosier and a lovely golden light. Now that's really, really warmed up the picture and that looks much, much better. I'm really happy with that. So here we have our great scene. We've got this lovely window here. It's letting in lots of natural light. It frames the scene, but we need to put someone in it. So let's introduce our model, Emily, into the scene um, to give the photo more interest. 
We're also going to give Emily something to do. So we've given her a keyboard, which is going to pick up the light nicely as well. So I'm just going to frame it now. I'm going to put my focus on Emily's shirt there just to get an edge for the focus to take place. The light's hitting her face nicely. And the keyboards, I'm going to set my exposure by just testing around until I get the exposure just how I want, lovely lots of darks and whites, nice contrast. And I think just to add a bit more interest now, I'm going to introduce a third element, which is going to be a mirror. Now, this, if we position this carefully on here, that's much better. We've got our scene set here. The light is beautiful coming in here. I can see uh, Emily's uh, face reflected in the mirror, which looks fantastic. First of all, I'm just going to actually just expose and get that exposure correct, get the focus on the mirror there. And so that looks absolutely fabulous. I'm really, really happy with that. Remember, you don't have to travel halfway across the world to take amazing photographs. You can do it all from the comfort of your own home. Remember to use the available light, the ceiling lights, the lights coming through the window, and also you know, make the use of that white balance. By doing that white balance test, putting your camera out the window, taking the temperature, and bringing your camera back indoors to get that really nice warm light. You can subscribe to Adorama TV and watch more amazing videos. Let us know what you think. Comment, share and like this video or pop over to the Adorama Learning Centre where you'll find lots more hints, tips and tutorials on photography. Thank you for watching. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.